Okay, part two of the GeoPandas and Chloroplast. Here we go. I have some other data that I want to merge into this map to redraw it in a different way. This one is currently based on the land area. I would like to do it based on population. Well, I have another data set that I can load up as a nice pandas data frame. We are going to load that up here as a state population. Hey pandas, read a CSV file for me. It's out there in data state pop. Cool. What do you look like, state pop? I'm a normal pandas data frame. I have a state name and the 2018 population count. This is a straightforward data set that I found on Kaggle. And we have our data set up here. This is another Geo Pandas data frame. Well, it looks like name over here lists off state names, whereas state here lists off all the state names. I want to put them all on one data frame. That's going to let me easily plot them. So let's see how we would do that right here. I would want to say continental join. Let's merge them together. Hey, state pop. I am going to use the index from you as state. And I'm going to join it to the other table on name. So when I do this, I should get back another table. All right, there we go. It has everything it had before for continental. And it has this new column. 2018 population. Now before I forget, let's save it. Instead of just projecting it to the screen, we want to say, here we go. What does it look like now? Now I could actually redo my plot. Let's go ahead and copy this down. <clears throat> and instead of doing the land area, I can do 2018 population. Here we go. Now I have colored them up from light green to dark blue using this new column that I just loaded from a new file. So that's one way. If you can make sure you have the, the same states or the same county names or the congressional districts or whatever you're trying to plot together, you can join them up with, from another data table and then use GeoPandas to plot using that column. Okay, so that's one thing you can do to augment your graph with data. Another way to do it is to start looking at just latitude and longitude coordinates. What if I want to draw points on here, points of interest? There's tons of data CSV files out there that aren't shape files, but we can convert them into geometries for geopandas in a straightforward way. So. Let's go ahead and do that. The Hawaii that we were seeing before, let's go out there and get just Hawaii. So now I'm going to keep Hawaii around. Hawaii, well, let's plot it to go ahead and look at it. Ooh, that looks a little different. Let's make it a little bigger. Uh, 12 by 12. There we go. It's a little bigger, but wow, that's not what I pictured Hawaii. Hawaii, when I normally think of it, is the main islands. You've got your five, six islands here. There's a lot of little islands that are caused by the volcano underneath, the hot spot, and they are slowly disappearing, but <clears throat> they still count as Hawaii. I would like to just focus down here. A student asked a question today, and I figured out how to do it. So what I would be able to do here is say, well, give me back the axis for the Hawaii plot. I am interested in changing the boundaries of this plot. And so what I could do is say, hey, I am going to set your X limit. I'm going to give it a lower and an upper bound in terms of its geometry here. I'm going to say, I don't really want anything beyond negative 162 
and I'm going to go up to <clears throat> negative 154. Hey, Axis, I'm also going to set your Y limit. And I'm going to only go from 18 to 24. Okay, so, so that you have them both to compare, this is what Hawaii looks with every single landmass in there. <clears throat> this is what Hawaii looks like with the big ones in there. And we could even shrink it down a little further if we wanted to, but that's enough for right now. So, here we go. I have Hawaii. Well, one of the data sets that people found last time was about pufferfish. Collecting pufferfish that were infected through to some pollution, something else going on with these pufferfish. Let's see if we can plot on here the coordinates of where they were. Pandas can load us up our data frame. So our puffer data frame is going to be, hey pandas, read a CSV file that I've saved here inside data. And what do you look like? Ah, you have latitude, longitude, and some status. So I could put those together and say latitude and longitude, let's turn those into geo pandas shapely pieces. Notice we have multi-polygons, we have polygons. Here, I want to be making points. <clears throat> and so what I could do is going through and changing it up. GeoPuffer is going to be a GeoPandas Geo data frame. And I'm going to base it off of my Puffer data frame and my geometry is going to be equal to geo pandas points but make them out of xy values based on the puffer data frame longitude and the puffer data frame latitude let's see if i have enough parentheses there yes so geo puffer what do you look like Hey, you look very similar, but you also have all these points as your geometry. Cool. GeoPuffer. You can plot. Good. Here are the locations of where they were. So, what we can do to connect these up, to say, I really have things in two different frames and they both need to be plotted. We can use the same trick we were doing before to get the axes back and say, I'm going to draw this plot on Hawaii and shrink it up. And then I'm going to say, hey, GeoPuffer, I want to plot you, but I want you to use the axes of my Hawaii plot. So when I put things together, you can't see a thing. Well, that's because of the colors. Both of them are plots. Both of them use blue as their standard one. So let's go ahead and start changing things up here. I'm going to say the face color. Let's make that sort of a transparent gray. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 5. And let's make my edge color. I'm just going to make that a standard green. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, good. Here we go. Land masses are gray. They have a green border around them, and these points that we're putting in are being put in at the places where they should be. So we can even change the second one here. We can say your points, my marker size is going to be 5. That drops them in, makes them a little smaller to see exactly where those coordinates are in our space. Okay, so this is that second one. We came from a pandas data frame that just had a latitude and longitude column and we were able to convert that into a geopandas and connect it up with another geopandas plot through the use of the axes. Now we could split this up and we could draw some of them that have a different status differently. 
if we wanted to. We could try to visualize these red, we could try to visualize these as green, depending on if they were uh, samples taken from dead fish, samples taken from live fish, and observing them in different areas. That's an extension of what we could do, but this would be the basics of being able to merge them together to get our plots. So that gives us the foundation that we need to get going with GeoPandas. You can find things like this in the examples gallery of GeoPandas, how to plot use and how to add backgrounds and all the other things, carting things, moving things around. There are tons of pieces to read here for your tutorials on GeoPandas. So have fun exploring.